Back in town, it's been a busy week for Wade Roberts and his polar bear alert team. The holding facility is close to being full, so a few bears are to be released early to make room for the new bears which are expected to be caught in the run-up to the big freeze. It looks like the word has spread around the town because there's a lot of tourists there now actually watching. Okay. Oh, it's so small, isn't it? Oh, it's tiny. Female? Mm. Baby. As a wildlife management project, Polar Bear Alert is a huge success. Before it started, on average, 17 bears a year were being shot in the interest of public safety. That number has now been reduced to under four. In the 16 years the project has been running, nearly a 1,000 bears have been captured and safely released. It's amazing. Those guys are now going about 30 miles down the coast and they're going to be dropped off on the ice where they've blown back out in the wild. It's brilliant, and, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's just so amazing sight to see and a much better option than shooting bears. As soon as the ice begins to form in Hudson Bay, the bears are on it. By midwinter, Manny will be about 100 miles out looking for seals. Isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? If you look up there, that's the sea, and this is the shoreline in the summer. And out there somewhere, the polar bears are. It was a real privilege to get to know and learn from Professor Malcolm Ramsey and Dr Stuart Innes. Both had shown an amazing dedication to highlighting global warming as a real problem. With humility and patience, they try to instill in us an awareness of what, as a race, we're doing to our own environment and these fantastic animals. Hopefully their work will not go unnoticed. Then, maybe then, something can be done before it's too late.